How Scott Wasson of AMD trolled the tech community. So how did Scott Wasson of AMD troll the tech community, you may ask? Well, there's a little bit of a story here, so let's back up to where it all began. Back at E3 of 2015, Dr. Lisa Su of AMD announced the line of Fury cards, or Fiji-based GPUs, one of which being a dual Fiji-based GPU that would be the successor to the R9 295X2 as the high-end dual GPU single card solution. Well, in November, we saw a leak from Johan Andersen of DICE and EA showing a leaking GPU of a prototype type, if you will, and we all assumed and were probably more than right that that was in fact a Fury X2 or Dual Fiji. And then in December, we see the announcement of the delay of the Fury X2 or Dual Fiji to better align the GPU with an actual release of VR headsets. So that kind of made sense, that was okay. But it was shown off again at VR LA, uh, the tweet by Antal Tungler, and then confirmed by him as well as Roy Taylor and Falcon Northwest, stating that these were dual Fiji based cards in use in their system. Of course, they were prototype and custom systems, so they're not available for purchase. Well, just a few days ago, Scott Watson tweeted a photo showing two Fiji XT packages in his hand that was, well, to be quite fair, he didn't say anything. He just posted the picture, but as everybody did, put one and one together and you get two, two GPU cores, dual Fiji. It's kind of been a running uh, tease lately, if you will. So everybody jumped on it, got kind of excited, a lot of fans did as well, thinking this was going to be the, we were closing in on the announcement of a Fury X2 part. Well, that's where <laughs> Mr. Watson comes back and decides that, uh, no, we were all wrong and everybody was wrong. In fact, he was basically holding them as next to a, an encased uh, Fiji XT package in acrylic stating that this was the world's first GPU to feature high bandwidth memory. Alright, fair enough Scott, you got us all. Good job. But at this point you almost can't help but wonder, are we ever going to actually see a Fury X2 with uh, Pascal and Polaris so close around the corner? I don't know. Let's hope this doesn't just turn out to be another uh, you know, launch from the printer. We'll catch you guys in the next video and have a good one.